please excuse the mess in the background i am ill also the mess on my face my face is like 40 percent snot 20 percent tears and 40 percent happy nose uh, welcome back to my channel i wanted to make a video today because i had an idea for a new series and that is kind of a monthly chat so like at the end of the month i'm going to upload a video talking about what's happened in, in the previous month because i love the idea of doing a monthly favorites but i just don't buy enough stuff and i don't I don't feel I'm interesting enough for that, so I thought I would tell you about what's been going on in my month, how I feel physically, mentally, um, if I've bought anything, if I do have any favourites then obviously I will include them. Okay, first thing I wanted to talk to you about is obviously my hair. My hair isn't orange anymore, yay! As some of you might know my hair was black until last April and then I bleached it twice and dyed it and it kind of went an orangey colour. It was like a dark blonde. And it was it was nice but as it fades it kind of goes orangey and my hair just doesn't hold color very well unless it's black i've been seeing photos of myself with dark hair and i'm just like oh, i miss it so much and so i decided to go darker again i was going to go like a dark dark color like a dark chocolate espresso brown but i thought it took me so long to get the black out of it that i just go for sort of midway color and this is kind of similar to my natural color so i'm hoping the roots won't be too bad so i can give it a break let it grow a bit and then if i want to go darker then then I can. So that's my reasoning behind it. I've got to do this very quickly because I've got someone coming to look at my car in about two minutes. The next thing I'm going to talk to you about is my house. I talked in my homeware haul video about moving out. I haven't talked about it at all really, partly because it's an ongoing process, it's very stressful, I don't really understand a lot of it. I want to keep you updated. Um, so basically I have applied for council housing um, but it has to be like an accessible house like for disabled people. Your stairs are difficult um, as is walking and stuff obviously. My parents have had to write a letter to say that they don't want me in the house anymore, they can't have me house anymore. I've had to say that I don't want to be in the house anymore. Um, it's harsh but it's kind of true but it's, it's harsher than it sounds. I am quite high up on the lighting list because of my needs because my needs aren't just physical they are mental. Living in Brackley which is where I live is a problem for me because I won't go out anywhere because there are people here that have done bad things to me and I don't want to see them, so I live in fear here, so that's a little poem for you. So I want to move as close to Milton Keynes, Leighton Buzz away as possible. It won't be that far because housing is difficult and it's just a difficult situation because it's out of county. But it will be somewhere in the South Northampton area towards Milton Keynes. Um, I have a meeting with myself, social services and the housing, no not the housing association, the council basically who do the housing um, to talk about my needs because they're telling me that I need certain things that I don't need and that aren't what I want. For me, the most important things is the fact that it is accessible in the no stairs and stuff, but location for me is the most important thing. They're talking about having a second bedroom for a carer in the future and they're completely forgetting the fact that I am a human being, not just a disability and maybe I want a family to live with me. So. Not just any old family, just my own. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I'm trying to work on, and that's looking after myself a bit more. I've been ill for about 12 weeks now with a bad chest. Every two weeks I get like a cold or a flu or a bug, and then I have a few days rest and I get another one. So I want to try and just look after my physical and um, mental and emotional needs a little bit more. I put other people first a lot. It's meant that I've ended up getting very poorly, so I need to put myself first. Next thing I'm going to talk to you about is quite exciting and that is music. I've been working on music with Sam since, since we've been together really but I bought him something for Christmas which means we can do some proper recording now and I have seven songs, I think six or seven songs that are ready to go. Two or three just need vocals, the rest need the music put them together. Um, I've written them all, they just need to be recorded and all of that. And I'll make a video for them and put them up. I'm going to try and put up one music video a month, try and break up my channel a little bit and give you something that I'm hopefully proud of. Next thing to do with looking after myself, I need to come off of lorazepam. I've been on benzos for nine years or so. I start shy from a few sort of month breaks every so often. I've been on them constantly. I take them to sleep because I'm in so much pain at night that I need something to help me sleep. So it's not that I'm addicted to them. I just don't like being in pain and I like being asleep. I like being asleep too much, but that's another video. So I'm going to try and cut them down, even if I have just like one a week. Um, at the moment I have two to four a day, pretty much just two at night. I am just going to go cold turkey because I am a fucking rebel, but I've not had any side effects when I've done that before, so I'm just going to do it again because I'm impatient. Two TV shows that I'm watching, Oz 
and Lost. Oz is a show uh, set in a prison and it was aired between 97 and 2003 and it's got lots of people in that you recognise from Lost, from Dexter, Breaking Bad, it's a great show. It's very fast paced which is good for me because I get bored so I, I love the show. We've powered through it. I think we're on season four and we only started it about two weeks ago. I've also just started Lost. I'm sure you all know what that is. I've never watched it before. It's a lot slower moving but I'm really enjoying it already. It kind of reminds me of The Walking Dead in the way each uh, episode is based on a character's backstory and their development and also with The Walking Dead it took me like a series. I liked it. It kind of grew on me. I definitely like it and I know that it is going to grow on me because I'm already enjoying it. That is the dopiest face I've ever pulled. On February the 11th, it is my birthday and I'm going to be 32. I just thought I'd talk about it because it was on my mind a little bit. A little bit anxious about it because I'm always anxious about birthdays. Not as bad as previous years because I know that I've got Sam and I don't care what I do as long as we're together. I just want to be with him and I want some money for a holiday. So if anyone wants to give me money for my holiday, feel free. And I want a puppy, but I always want a puppy and I never get one. I sounded so much like my middle niece Chloe then. When I gave them their Christmas presents, every time uh, the other two girls open a present, she goes, oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, neither did I, Chloe, neither did I. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about is train spotting. It is coming out at the end of January and me and Sam are both very excited. Um, I remember when we saw the first kind of like behind the scenes pictures last year, I was like, oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be fantastic. I only watched the first one a few years ago. I'm gonna rewatch it before we go and see it, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it, especially as my taste in film has grown since I watched the first one, so I know I'm going to love it. And it's got two of my favourite actors in it, Johnny Lee Miller and Robert Carlyle, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, that is the end of my video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Tell me what your January's been like, uh, what your Christmas was like if you want. I know that's like, it's like ages ago now, but yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next month. Bye. Da, 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 da.